Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video today, like I promised you, I'm going to show you all the vintage shopping I found in Tokyo. Next time it's going to be Osaka, so if you're not subscribed yet, let's change that and keep on watching. So on this video it's going to be more about the vlogging experience of the shopping in Tokyo. I will maybe do another video with more information or maybe an an Instagram post on Instagram Reel. So don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and keep on watching. So our first stop is Alu Vintage. They have several locations, one in Ginza, this one, and one in Paris, I will take you there. So it's gonna be the bougiest one. So keep on watching. We're gonna have some more good deals at the end of the video. That's the Hermes floor. I'm gonna ask for some prices. Okay, it's Look how cool the Louis Vuitton store looks like. So as you can see, the selection they have is insane. Hermes, Chanel, Prada, Louis Vuitton, everything you want, they will have. The prices are a little bit more expensive than the rest of Japan. But I mean, if you have like a very specific model, size, color you want, might be worth to check out what they have on the website and you can always negotiate the prices and you have 10% taxes you can um, subtract directly so still worth mentioning we're going now to Amore Vintage I will link some of the prices below and I will link you their websites at the end of the video we have great prices We're now walking to the Amore Gentleman because they have three branches all in the same area. Let's go inside and see what they have. We are in Shinjuku. With taxes, with taxes. When I was a kid, I was dreaming about living in a place like this. Looks like a castle, but it's a cathedral.
So don't forget to check out the description box and on the next video it's going to be the Osaka side of the vintage shopping. It's less expensive and with some maybe more interesting less seen items. So check out that and don't forget to check out on my Instagram for the neighborhoods comparison like Ueno, Omoto Sedon, Ginza and all of this to have the best vintage, vintage experience in Tokyo, in Japan in general. Bye bye and thanks for watching.